Hi, my name is Sophia Tai, and I'm going to be walking you through a deep dive into AWS DeepLens. On the screen, you'll see the members of Team Finesse, which is comprised of Alex, Mogi, Mohammed, myself, and Brittany. And so our team was able to create a small workable POC that acted as a virtual basketball referee. With basketball referees and referees just in general, it is natural for us to disagree with them just because we know their opinions are subjective. Whether or not it is a known bias through bribery or something else external, or if it's an unconscious bias, just as plain favoritism. What if we had something or created something that could get rid of this human bias and kind of just make sure that the basketball games are being officiated the way that we would like them to be, which is completely and ultimately fair. And so that's where the idea came about in terms of the virtual basketball referee. Here you'll see a consolidated list of kind of the major points that we thought of during our brainstorming sessions. So one would be the ability to track scores, the ability to keep track of time in general, um, the shot clock, foul calls, the ability to track various individual and team statistics, and hopefully have a way for the machine to analyze those statistics and recommend ways to improve both either the individual's game and the team's performance. Next, we decided to kind of create our scope and our work breakdown. So ideally, we would be able to knock all of this out within a few months, but uh, our ultimate goal was to create something workable in a short amount of time. So we then narrowed it down to just the ability to track scores. Some things you'll need to know beforehand is what exactly even is a deep lens? Right, so it is a wireless enabled video camera and development platform integrated with the AWS cloud. Uh, I think the easiest way to think of it is that it's kind of like a learning tool that they've created to kind of help people like us developers that are interested in the development tech to be able to get started very quickly. And so that's how we've used it and that's how the rest of the community has generally used it as well. Uh, what exactly is a Lambda? So that is a serverless compute service that runs your code in response to events and automatically manages the underlying compute resources for you. And so the way that we use this in our use case is that we kind of take things a little bit differently in terms of what you'll normally see in the sample projects of DeepLens. And we actually implement um, two different Lambdas. And instead of using AWS's machine learning kind of like stack, we use Microsoft's custom vision. And so Lambda allows us to reach out into things outside of the AWS environment uh, and then pull things back into it. So it's been helpful in there. And lastly, what is Microsoft custom vision? It's a service that uses the machine learning, learning algorithm to classify images. So an example of what we would get from that is what is the probability that this, this photo right here is a photo of a dog? So now that we have the basics of what DeepLens Lambda and Custom Vision is, I think we can get started into talking about the virtual basketball referee that we've created. So first off, the DeepLens captures the video feed and passes it to our object detection AWS Lambda. So for instance, we would have a video such as this of a basketball court. Oh, good year coming up, I hope so. There it is, under how long he makes it. Push that man was shooting terribly from the free throw line. And the deep lens would then pass this video feed into our first lambda. Okay. And so once the deep lens captures the video and passes it into our object detection lambda. So within this lambda, it kind of prepares each frame and it splits the video up like this. From there, our lambda then passes the prepared frame to the object detection custom vision model. And then we receive a prediction from there. So it will isolate this frame, pass it into the model, 
and this is the output that we get. So we get the probability that there's a player in the frame, the probability that there's a hoop in the frame, and a probability that there's a ball in the frame. Great. Once the frame is deemed valuable, the first lambda will store it into S3, which is just basically like a database that you have in the cloud that stores unstructured data. And it will record a row into DynamoDB, which you see here. Here are the probabilities dictionary, which will have what we just saw before, the ball hoop in person, as well as a timestamp. Once our shot detection lambda, um, or actually once our object detection lambda uploads it into the S3, our shot detection lambda will be triggered from that new upload and it will pass the valuable frame to a second custom vision model, which will determine whether or not a shot was made or not. And so you'll see here, we just have one prediction coming out. It is ball and net probability. And the probability that this frame right here had a successful shot is just 5% which is correct. Um, something to note about why we kind of chose to do two separate lambdas and two separate models was because we wanted to keep it as modular as possible. So for instance, since in future state we wanted to be able to detect um, like team level analytics, we'd first need to detect whether or not a player was a part of team A or a part of team B. So that's kind of why we split it out in this way. So once the Lambda updates the DynamoDB record with the shot probability that we just received, um, it'll look a little bit like this. So you'll see that we now have a point value here. Since it was an unsuccessful shot in that frame, uh, the point value is zero. And the shot detection timestamp has been updated. And you'll see a new prediction right here, which is ball and net. So I will go straight into kind of the live demo now here. Uh, since you can't really see the deep lens, what it's pointing at right now, I'll have, I pass in a frame already from one of our live training sessions. And you'll see here, we actually have two balls um, and many, many players and just one hoop, but you'll see that the ball just didn't really make it into the hoop right here. The first thing that will happen is it will, deep lens will pass the frame into this lambda. And this is our object detection lambda. So you'll see a little bit of things going on here. Really, the bulk of what we would like to see is that here it's setting and preparing the frames for us. And then right here we have send frame to custom vision. And so it passes in the frame right here into the URL of the API of the custom vision model. And we get back a response, which is a JSON response. And um, we basically parse that into a dictionary. And so I can show you a little bit what the response looks like. So it looks just like this, like what will be seen in the PowerPoint slide. We'll have a player, a hoop, and a basketball. So once we do that, we determine whether or not the frame is valuable. So we say, is the probability that the hoop is there, is it greater than 40%? And then if so, is there a basketball in the frame that's likely to be there greater than 40%? And if so, then return true. If not, is there at least a player in there? And again, that's going back to, well, what if we just want to do player statistics, right? What if we don't care if there's a basketball or a hoop there? So here, we store the frame in S3. And then down here is where we write the actual record into DynamoDB, which we've seen before. Great. So once that's done, this is what S3 looks like if you look at it through the console. And it just has all of the different frames that we've uploaded there. Here, I've already kind of pre-written what our frame URL is. And I will download this again, just so we can make sure that we're looking at the right frame here. Great, so we are. So that has been uploaded and deemed valuable according to our first Lambda. From there, once we have the image in S3, it triggers Lambda 2, which is our shot detection. And you can notice here, it's fairly, fairly easy to set up. 
you just have your triggers right around here, which is the S3. So every time a frame is uploaded into that um, instance, this Lambda will get run. And so here, it's a little bit easier to see if you scroll down, this is our main function. So our S3 gets triggered. We then fetch the image from the S3, or actually our Lambda gets triggered. We then fetch the image from S3 and we get the custom vision predictions. So we then pass this frame into our second custom vision model, right? And this one will predict whether or not this shot was successful. So we'll then parse the predictions and update DynamoDB at the very end. So if the model predicts that a shot is made above 50% or greater than or equal to 50%, then we'll go ahead and assign that point value as this as a one. But as we can see here, the ball did not go through. And so this is our kind of our final DynamoDB record for this frame. So we're saying the point value is zero um, because we only predicted that the ball was in the net 10%. So there was a 10% likelihood that the ball was in the net. And then we've also uploaded this shot detection timestamp right here. So that really is just a very, very quick demo of the virtual basketball referee that we've created. Um, it is working and it is small, but um, if you have any questions, feel free to just direct message us on our Instagram account. Uh, and thank you for your time.